In many ways, the mighty Snake River is the foundation of Idaho's potato industry. It has, through centuries, deposited much of the rich volcanic soil that Idaho growers cultivate today. As the Snake River wanders downward a mile in elevation along its course across the state, it provides much of the water that is converted into irrigation to make possible the growing of potato plants. It takes approximately 120 days to grow mature potatoes in Idaho. Today's story concentrates on the steps needed to harvest Idaho potatoes at the end of the growing season. Idaho potatoes are harvested once a year. The russet Burbanks in September to mid-October and early varieties such as the Norcota starting in August. Acres of potato plants produce tubers just below the surface of the rich volcanic soil. This tractor pulls harvester and windrower machinery that can gently lift four to twelve rows of potatoes at a time up over conveyor belts then carefully drop the potatoes into piles above the ground. Next, harvesting equipment takes each pile of potatoes up and over a moving surface, returning the smallest potatoes as well as rocks and wooden potato vines to fall back through a metal grid to the dirt. Trucks follow along as the boom brings the potatoes over to the moving trailer bed and then they proceed off to the processor, shipper or storage facility. Once they're loaded, some potatoes are routed directly into potato storage units. These are stored for delivery later in the season. Most Idaho potato storage requires a climate controlled facility such as this. The potatoes are gradually cooled down while kept in the dark and at high humidity till ready to be sorted for shipping. Built-in conveyor belts are also used to minimize bruising for unloading the potatoes from trucks. At the shipper, Idaho potatoes may go into these large bins to wait till the lines are ready to receive more product. As the potatoes travel down the lines, they are checked for visual defects by hand. Potatoes aren't sorted out in the fields when harvested but rather as they travel throughout the production lines. Each shipper may have a different method for sorting potatoes to match their customers' needs for various sizes. The cups, as shown here, weigh the potatoes and drop each one into the proper size containers. Potatoes destined for retail grocery stores are bagged in mesh or plastic containers. The size cartons for loose potatoes sold in stores or food service are packed by count, such as 70 count in a 50-pound carton. Idaho harvests over 13 billion pounds of russet potatoes every year. And now you know the real secrets behind how Idaho has become so well known for its famous potatoes. It takes hard work, vision, gambling with weather conditions, and dedication by the growers and shippers to bring you the best potatoes available. Idaho potatoes. In Idaho, the setting is perfect to grow the best potatoes in the world. Our snow-capped mountains provides the high elevation. The free-flowing rivers contribute cool, clear water. The rich volcanic soil is perfect for our potatoes. We depend on warm days and cool nights for the best potatoes on Earth. Idaho grows several varieties of potatoes, such as the shepherdy. The ranger can yield very large-sized potatoes. The russet Norcota has a beautiful oval shape and even colored skin. And the russet Burbank. You're looking at a close-up of the grand champion of all potatoes, long admired for its dry texture and its versatility for cooking. The russet Burbank. There's no need to hide an Idaho russet baking potato in foil. And when it comes to french fries, the potato flavor of each fry is second to none. Millions of customer purchases every day are continuing proof of the popularity of Idaho potatoes. The outside of an Idaho potato has a fine net-like skin that acts as nature's solution to reduce bruising. Potatoes grown in the rich volcanic soils of Idaho have this even textured skin across the outer surface along with a white interior. Today you'll experience the harvest in the fields. You can see firsthand that different sized potatoes come from each plant. And you'll get a sense of the volume of potatoes the state of Idaho produces every year to send to restaurant operators and grocery stores across the United States. 
But long before the harvest, Idaho growers have been busy nurturing the potato known around the world. Healthy potato plants grow up to have dark, rich green leaves with white flower blossoms. In the normal crop rotation cycle, potatoes are typically rotated with the wheat as shown here, along with beans, sugar beets, canola, barley, or alfalfa. Growers specify certified seed stock. Each piece of seed contains the eye of a potato, which germinates into a potato plant. As is the case in all of nature, too much or too little water, a bad frost, or even heavy winds can affect the future of the crop. As the season progresses, the field is covered in a solid carpet of maturing bright green plants. Typically, the growing season here in Idaho is between 110 and 130 days. Our potato growing land stretches across the lower part of the state. In the far west, this includes Caldwell and the Canyon County area. In south central Idaho, there is Jerome, Twin Falls, Rupert, and Burley. Eastern Idaho potatoes come from Pocatello, Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, Rexburg, and Rigby. Nearly all these locations border the Snake River. It's not hard to find where the best potatoes are grown. Look for Idaho. Much of the credit for the final product can be given to the dedicated commitment of Idaho farmers who oversee the crop every day. Idaho growers do a great job with every potato to ensure that they are the best they can be. Water is always important in growing potatoes. Not too much, like some states may receive, nor too little. In Idaho, we cannot depend on rainfall for growing potatoes. To get just the right amount of water, irrigation systems utilize rivers, canals, and underground springs. When the growing season draws to a close, the green vines turn brown. After the potatoes have achieved their size and the skin has set, the harvest begins. The russet Burbank variety is typically harvested in late September and October. Harvest machinery lifts the potatoes from the volcanic soil. Small stones, debris, and old vines are removed at this time. The potatoes are carefully loaded into trucks, which take the potatoes to the next stage, either a storage facility or straight to the shipper or processor. Look at all these potatoes. Idaho grows nearly 400,000 acres and 14 billion pounds a year. To arrive at the proper storage conditions, the potatoes from the field must be cooled down. Modern storage facilities use computer controls to do this gradually. The ideal temperature for the storage of potatoes is 45 to 48 degrees Fahrenheit at up to 95 percent humidity. Here you see potatoes being loaded into a processing storage facility to later become hash browns or french fries or convenient instant mashed potatoes. State inspectors apply the grading standards to samples of each lot. They check for defects, size, shape and quality. Once the potatoes are washed, they are sent down the line for further examination. Here you see several of the steps at once that go into sorting fresh potatoes. The potatoes that go into 50-pound cartons are checked to meet the grade standards for number ones and sorted for the proper size ranges. They are destined primarily for food service users. The number one potatoes that go into bags weighing 5 or 10 pounds, for example, will be sent out to retail supermarkets. The number two potatoes, packed in paper bags, burlap, or one-piece cartons, may become fresh-cut french fries after they reach food service. And eventually, these genuine Idaho potatoes will find their way to restaurant kitchens and consumers all across America. As you've seen, the world-famous Idaho potato, it doesn't just happen. For your best assurance of quality, look for the grown in Idaho seal. It's the best way you know that these fine potatoes came from the only state with potatoes named after it, Idaho.